have already applied my form to create my modern almond shape. The difference between the classic almond and the modern almond starts from the form application. As you've seen before, the classic almond points from the apex down. The modern almond goes straight from the apex to the very tip of the nail. So when we apply the form, we need to take into account this difference. As with the classic almond, the modern almond points to the very end. So we have the narrow shape. Let's start the application. I am starting with my power drill, placing it at the connection of the natural nail and the form. And I'm going to spread it to the extension edge. First blending with the nail and then pulling the product down. I'm pressing the product in and following my form application. Once applied, this one goes to the light for 60 seconds. My extension is cured. Now I'm going to remove the form and work on my nail bed elongation. Okay. I'm pressing the form, pulling it down, and my extension edge is done. For my nail bed elongation, I'm going to start with the thin layer of the base on the natural nail. In my case, it is a practice finger. Because I'm going to apply the gel polish color, I need to make sure the adhesion is there. Cure this one 30 seconds. Now let's paint the nail bed elongation shape with my gel polish peach cream. Two thin layers, just as a background for my elongation. For the perfect shape, use the smaller brush and mark the ends of the shape. Cure each layer 30 seconds. I have cured two layers of the peach cream. Now I'm going to continue with my nail bed elongation. Now I'm going to create my 3D elements with the top cream, peach cream, slightly mixed with the liner gel white, and the power gel clear mixed with the blush gel jasmine. I'm painting the small element. I can do a few at the same time to speed up slightly my work. This one needs to be pre-cured. You can use your flashlight for 10 seconds and then create your elements with the power drill. To build the height of the elements, I'm using the detailer number three, as it is a smaller brush, and I can be more accurate. Pre-cure this one and continue with the elements. Each element needs to have painted wall, and you can switch between the top cream and the peach cream. Next, create the height and the next element with the power gel. Continue with your elements until you fill up the full nail bed elongation. I have finished my nail bed elongation, file it into shape, and now it's time to define in it. I'm going to use the liner gel white and the square brush. You can use the flower brush or the square detailer to make sure your wall is nice and sharp. You can see here that we have the straight line from the apex to the end of the nail bed elongation and that will go towards the edge. Cure your liner gel 60 seconds. Enough after liner gel is cured, I'm going to place my power gel white and finish our French. Once your white is applied, cure it 60 seconds in a twin light. I found my nail into shape, now let's apply the top gel. I'm using the glossy Supreme Finish Top, and now let's reveal our 3D nail bed elongation and the shape of our nail. Let's see the end result. So here is my modern almond. You can see it is a narrow shape, 
and from the side, the apex is placed closer to the cuticle, around 20 to 30 percent of the natural nail, and we have the straight line from the apex to the very end, which is parallel to the lower arch. We also have the 45 degrees sharp edge. Hope you like my nail, and see you next time.